Amanda Webb, you are from spiderworking.com and of course co-founder of Blog Awards Ireland. You've just recently launched the second annual Blog Awards Ireland. Tell us what has been the re response so far. It's been fantastic. Um, we've officially launched now, but nominations have been open for a couple of weeks and we have around 2,000, over 2,000 blogs nominated now. So we're really pleased with that response. Um, that's 2,000 nominations, so 2,000 individual people have gone into our site to nominate, so we're delighted with that so far. And it's climbing at a phenomenal rate. Any trends coming out so far in terms of most popular categories? Fashion blogging is huge. I, I swear everyone is fashion blogging. There's some really diverse fashion blogs out there. Everything from kind of the goth look to the high street fashion. So that's a huge category. Food is always a big category and it is again this year. And I'm delighted to see so many newcomers as well. It's great to know that so many new people are taking up blogging. It definitely isn't dead. It's still growing. What about niche areas? Any particular categories that you want to appeal to bloggers to enter? Well, I know there's a lot of political blogs out there, but I know um, political bloggers are um, less likely to enter in awards. I think they like blogging for the sake of blogging. Um, but we'd love to celebrate some of those bloggers out there, and also in the news and current affairs area. Um, and we have a sports category as well, and I know everyone, it's sunny, so everyone's out sporting at the moment. There are, again, some great sports blogs out there, so I'd like to see a few more popping into that category. You've also introduced a new blog category sponsored by... TG Cahar, the blog of the Irish diaspora. Yes, and we're really excited about that as well, because last year we had so many bloggers from overseas with Irish connections that would love to have entered, so we thought it would be a great category, and with the gathering as well this year it just seemed the right thing to do, and yeah, we're looking for more entries in that category too, we've got some great entries coming in already, so wherever you are in the world, America, Australia, Europe, Asia... Africa, wherever you are, we'd love to, if you've got any Irish connection at all, we'd love to accept your blog nomination. So with 32 categories in total and quite a number of weeks yet for people to enter, what would you say to bloggers or budding bloggers that perhaps have just started? If you just, I think people are a little bit scared to enter if it's a new blog and there's no reason to be scared. The worst that can happen is you make the nomination list and you don't get any further, but it still gives you a link back to your blog so you've got an inbound link so that's good for you and it also just gives you the opportunity to fight harder for next year and you might make the shortlist next year. Are we witnessing a real change in marketing methods with reduced budgets or people turning to digital storytelling? Well obviously I'm a little bit biased because what I do for a living I help businesses using social media and blogging but um, I absolutely think so. I mean yesterday an example would be I was um, at dinner with some relatives but before dinner we were all sitting around outside everyone was reading a newspaper and there was me on Twitter and there was something about uh, NASA had just found some new signal from outside the Milky Way and I sat there and went NASA had just found a signal from outside the Milky Way and I looked at them and I was going you're all reading yesterday's news so I think it really is becoming important to be real-time marketing and stuff that's actually happening is reaching people straight away. Amanda Webb, best of luck with the Blog Awards and thanks for talking to us. Thank you.